Hello there, Wodgy people. How is it going? Welcome back to uh, Postal Service Providence Oaks, or rather, how uh, should I say, um, Lake Seasons Greetings DLC. Um, oh, fine Friday it is out of course, there, I, I always forget that we're going to get into the uh, radio thing as soon as I get in the van. Go on, let's listen to it. Let's hear one from Mildred Meow Jenkins. Hi, Jack. I would like to thank our own Robert Harris for all the snow he shoveled from my driveway this week. He even brought a fish snack for my cats. Say thank you to Robert now, my dears. Way to go, Robert. Feel free to help clear out my driveway as well. It's only about a quarter of a mile. <laughs> and it'll probably need shoveling because more snow's coming. But we're back to bright and sunny skies later today. Back to the music. Well, there you go. More snow as it is falling right now, even. 105 East 4th Street. Uh, 105 East 4th Street. There we go. Ding dong. Anyone live here that we know? Nope. Mm, nobody's home. Doesn't wait long, does he? In my house, if someone rings a doorbell, it takes me uh, like a whole minute at least to get to the to the door. My my studio where I record these is uh, in one. It's in the furthest corner of the house from the front door. They're on opposite corners and on different floors, so it does take me a while to get there. So if any of you ever ring my doorbell, just just chill your beans, all right? I'll be out when I can get there. Okay. Don't just ring and run like a lot of these people do. They're like, ding dong, oh no one's here, bye. Uh, right, we'll deliver the mail to this person. And then one down the end. <clears throat> I don't know if I'd like to be uh, a delivery person. Particularly not with, uh, what, are you go what are you doing there? Are you just going to sit there in the way? Uh, it's not that one. It must be 301. I don't know what that person's doing. They're just sitting in their car, completely blocking up the roadway, like I normally do. Back in the van. Yeah. Oh, camera won't go the other side of them. Look. Oh, it's Robert. Isn't it? I think it's Robert. Dude! What are you on? You just sit there in your car staring. He, I think he might be having a nervous breakdown. I'll, perhaps I'll leave him alone, give him a break. I, uh, ugh. I know I've just sat motionless in cars sometimes because my brain's having a day and I just need to chill for a bit. Right, let's hop out here. Did we miss the video? No, the video store's there, isn't it? Is it there? I don't know where it is. Anyway, we're delivering a package to 300 Main Street. Bookham Dano, she's called it. 300 Main Street, there we go. Part and parcel. <laughs> or at least that's what she's written on the board. We are open, Bookham Dano. Oh, yeah, that is the name of the store, right. I didn't even notice that last time. I was just so focused on the fact she was talking about Hawaii Five O or whatever the series was. Hi, Beth. I got a delivery for you. Uh, where do you want it? Oh, dear, Thomas. I almost didn't see you come in there. I was lost in thought, I suppose. Please just put it on the counter, if you will. Thank you. And thank you again for a lovely Christmas dinner. I had a marvelous time with you all. Despite the jumpers. Love having you over, Beth, as always. Emily and I had a great time. Uh, though it always is not going to last forever. Oh, although that Mildred still doesn't know how to read the room, does she? <laughs> oh, bless her, she really doesn't. Got to get involved in a bit oh, of local uh, gossip. A bittersweet evening, but it was certainly memorable. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, she just gave people jumpers. Honestly, um... I understand, yes. Yeah, it was a bit understanding. But I can understand why the grass is greener in the south for you right now. 
My reason for leaving is wonderful, for sure. I can only count myself fortunate. And I wouldn't miss a thing now that the little one is on the way. Oh, but I will miss you too, as Helen Keller once wrote. So long as the memory of certain beloved friends lives in my heart, I shall say that life is good. Well, there we go. Like a walking library. You're like a walking library, Beth. Always a fitting quote. So, haven't you ever thought of moving closer to Meredith over all these years? She is living quite a ways away, right? <sighs> thought about it? Yes. Your news has put things into perspective, I suppose. But leaving here would sure be a big step. I think they moved to Maybe Florida in the next know. one, or in the, in the main Meredith game. Maybe will even make it out here one day. <laughs> And there's always the phone, of course. And don't forget the postal service. Binding the nation together. Well, I think that's uh, Staples, I isn't it? Longer, Thomas. I need Get to it, sort Staples this binding. New delivery you've just brought in. It's play on words. you me, that's going to take me a while. Um, best take your time. I understand. It's best to take your time with things like that. Exactly. Whether one likes it or not. Until next time, my friend. Up and at him. See you, Beth. Okay. Onwards. Oh, there's the video store. We have gone past it already. Never mind. Never mind. There's no thing on it, so presumably there's nothing to do there today. Uh, let's swing around these. I don't know why I do the local... Well, I... I didn't do the local ones first on the first day, did I? I did them last on the first day, so I guess I am mixing things up a bit. Hard to remember what I've done there previously, you know. I am a forgetful person, that's for sure. Right. Next on the list. 104. Lovely. Deliver the mail. And then what we got? It looks like mostly packages now. We will go east first, I think. Getting the old slides in there. Let's do a bit of horn honking. Uh, how do we get around there? I'm confused. Do we go around that that road back there? Don't know my way into this place. Oh, that was the road. Way nice slide. Gotta love a good slide. Okay, it looks like there's a pathway from the, um, the top edge, the northern edge. Is there? I... what the heck? Where am I going? I don't understand that. Alright, we'll go to the thing. How the hell am I meant to get in there? Is that like a mislabeled thing or something? I feel like uh, we're going to spend some time wondering about that. Christmas gift? Maybe. You said that already, dude. Honestly, get some new lines. Right, where are you, Maureen? Okay, so we still need to check Spanner Dam for the mood shots. Oh, we got the TV crew According here. According to this... It offers damn fine views, so. Hey, Mr. Mailman, come on over. Talk to us for a sec. Gabe, we don't have time for idle chit chat. He can help us out, Ilsa. No one knows the town like a mailman, right, Mr. Weiss? Uh, hello. Hey, Mr. Serrano, Miss Richter. Please call us Gabe and Ilsa. He can call you Gabe and Ilsa. I prefer Miss Segment Producer Extraordinaire. 
<laughs> and you can call me P.O.'s premier parcel provider. Thomas for short. <laughs> anyway, we're scouting out this beautiful town of yours for our report on small town America. It's great, but we could use the inside track. So, any secret spots we're bound to miss, but shouldn't? Well... Oh, we sat down, apparently. Um... Jack Reynolds Farm, well, maybe. Uh, Jack Reynolds Farm. Not just for the place, but for the man. He might be the most interesting character in all of Providence Oaks. Excuse me, Mr. Thomas Theodore Wise? What am I, chopped liver? <laughs> After Maureen Hennessy, of course. <laughs> hey, Maureen. Now, here's your coffee, folks. Sorry for the delay. <sighs> Fawcett's been acting up again, which should have been fixed yesterday. Oh, you want me to check on it, Miss Hennessy? Oh, now look at you, my knight and woolen. Was well, Robert not around? Would you, dear? I can take a look. Well, isn't that nice of you? Uh, back of the kitchen, honey. Brilliant. Ashley, someone who does know what he's doing is coming in. I mean, we saw him with the Show engine. The I wouldn't be sure in. about that. And stay out of his way. Ashley's a sweetheart, but when it comes to fixing things, huh, that boy is all thumbs. See, this is what the segment should be. Interacting with the townsfolk, helping out. I love it. Right, okay. Does he actually know anything about faucets? Yeah, you're in good hands, Maureen. Gabriel may look and act like a naive little pup, but he can fix anything. Except vehicles. Well, except <laughs> there we go. But other than that... Oh, is that a fact? Well, in that case, I can think of a few more things he could fix around here, if you catch my drift. Oh, dear. <laughs> Maureen, there's a lady present. Hmm. Uh, let me just go check him out. Uh, check on him, I mean. <laughs> oh dear. So, anyway. Um. So... Have you tried blueberry pie? Oh, uh, wait. You had the Connor Price experience the other day. Have you recovered yet? <laughs> I actually encountered him outside the motel yesterday evening. Uh. We had a nice chat about your new plans. Really? Oh, did he greet you with, good to see you, man? Mm-hmm. He was high. Yes. How did you know? That's his go-to when he's forgotten your name. It's good to see you, man, for guys, and hey, lady, for gals. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't worry about it, though. He called me Lisa for the better part of a year. At least that's an anagram. That a lot. But I guess after this week, I can update my resume with not just segment producer and car problem solver, but also... Connor Price Wrangler. Mm. Gabriel seems Gabriel nice though. seems very nice though. That should make things easier. Oh yeah. He's a big old puppy dog. He's as uncomplicated as Connor is complicated. So that's a welcome antidote. Well now, sounds like someone is getting a little warm under the collar for our Gabriel. Just between you and me, honey. I have a hunch that feeling is more than mutual. Oh dear. Uh, Maureen, is the faucet fixed yet? All I know is, I just spent five minutes with our knight in the It kitchen. wasn't five minutes, and during surely. during that time, he mentioned Ilsa about twelve times. Really? Well, ah. Uh... Faucet's all better now, Mo. And we should be hitting the road right about now. Right. Thanks, Maureen. Nice talking to you, Thomas. So he didn't drink his coffee now, at all. Folks. Be sure to check in again soon, you hear? She put it on the table, sent him to the kitchen to fix the tap, and now sure they're leaving. Know how to liven things up, don't they? Indeed, Maureen. <clears throat> yes, 
you haven't even met the main event, Connor Price. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, you know about my little New Year's Eve shindig, right? I'm counting on you and Emily. We'll party like it's 1986. Because it will be. <laughs> oh, wow, it's 80s. Earlier than I thought it was. <laughs> can't I can't promise we'll make it. can't promise we'll make it, but we'll try. Best get back to it. See you, Mo. Bye now. Okay. Right. Now let's figure out this weird package. How are we going to get that into a place that appears to not have any entrances? Uh... I guess we'll give it one more go along this front. It looked like this was solid rock the whole way, though. Yeah, there's no way up there. There's no paths or anything. Nothing at all. And then this side... There must be something, surely. How am I supposed to get here? Can I drive through this? Apparently I can. Oh, there is a little hut here. Wow, would you look at that? Oh, it's Frank. What's he doing here? Old logging road. Do we have something? Two old logging road. I guess that's it. Okay, let's get this to its destination. What a weird place. Oh, it technically does have a little road, okay. Oh my word. How many fireworks have you uh, got here? here? Hey, Thomas. Yeah, I needed to take care of some stuff. Hardly any customers at the post office anyway. Uh. I don't know, Frank. What if there's someone who needs to send something urgent? If it's really urgent, I'll drive it over to the distribution center myself. They know they can count on me. Okay, if you say so. If you say so, Frank. It's none of my business. That big sucker you're carrying is for me, huh? <laughs> right on time. It's all coming together. Hey, Thomas, you can keep a little secret, right? Nope. Mm, not if he gets me into trouble. Not if it gets me into trouble, Frank. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal in any case. A buddy of mine was able to get his hands on some premium quality fireworks. I'm selling them with a nice profit. And anything I can't sell, well, let's just say you want to be outside Moe's Diner when the clock strikes 12 on New Year's Eve. Frank, that sounds illegal and dangerous. <laughs> I'm going to pretend we never had this conversation. Or maybe this shouldn't you stick to sports betting? Shouldn't you stick to sports betting? Hmm. We'll see what happens. I just love fireworks. Um. Do you have any experience? Uh, do you have any experience with setting off fireworks? Who needs experience? Just light the fuse and get out of dodge. I've done a few fireworks shows in my time. Customers waiting forever. All right, Frank. See you at the office. Right then. Thankfully, never had uh, an incident that's been uh, of note. Had a, a close call once, even though we were being very careful. Um, so it just goes to show. Even the most uh, experienced and most careful people, you can still you can still have uh, accidents. You're not going to think of everything. But yeah, be careful with fireworks, people. Wow, look at me. Responsible. Broadcasting. <laughs> Doing PSAs. Anyway, let's get back to uh, drifting our snow truck through the snow. Snow truck? Mail truck through the snow. Two more deliveries to make and then we will be done for the day. Fantastic. Uh, we'll go up here, I think. Screech! Nice! Love it. 
absolutely love it. Okay, Vintage Street. That's a nice name. You see the way I'm driving this vehicle, you'd never think it was an old man inside. 103 Vintage Street. What? Did I not take it? Pick it up. Ah, there we go. I, uh, I don't know what happened the first time there. Maybe I did pick it up, but I didn't realise. Oh, they must be out of town for the holidays. There we go. And one last letter and we are done for the day. Chill out and watch some uh, weird cop TV. I'm not getting up enough speed to do the uh, two wheel thing again. Let's deliver there. And that's the last one. Whew. Phew. Okay now. Uh, I guess we'll just go straight on. Screech. No, not quite a screech. Oh look, there's a big rig. Hello. Oh, it didn't even honk back at me. How rude. Honestly, what, what, you know, surely you can expect a, a little toot back if you toot at someone on the way past. Especially from a big rig, you know? Little uh, road users camaraderie. Uh, where are we? Main road's the next one. Handbrake. Nice. Get out of the road, lady. Drifting snow trucks coming through. That one was not... She didn't even blink when I drifted in front of her then. Right, end of the day. Friday evening. What's going to happen? Ring, ring. I'll get it. Hello? Uh, uh, very good evening. A am I talking to Mrs. Uh, Emily Weiss? Yes, sir. That would be me. Ah, fantastic. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Uh, my name is uh, Christian Carmichael, and I represent Fly Into Florida. <laughs> oh, uh, hi there. I, I have great news for you, Mrs. Weiss. It's been a while, but uh, do you perhaps remember entering into our Fly Into Florida sweepstakes? Um, well, now that you mention it, I think so. Yeah. Was that the one on the back of the juice carton? That's the one. And I am more than happy to tell you that you are the winner of the grand prize. Wow. The grand prize? Wow, uh, fantastic. Um, I'm afraid I've forgotten what it was. Could you refresh my memory a little bit? Uh, uh no problem, Mrs. Weiss. Uh, you have won a two-week trip to Florida for two. Wow, F Florida, really? I won? I have never won anything in my life. Uh, hold on, I need to tell my husband. <laughs> we won! I'm talking to a gentleman from flying to Florida. And he says we've won a two-week holiday for two. Amazing. <laughs> Get out of here, Florida? <laughs> wow! <laughs> Isn't it I might start entering competitions for holidays. So happy. Thank you so much. Be nice to win a holiday. You're very welcome. You've got plenty of time to let it all sink in. Uh, next, we'll be sending you an extra special envelope. It will contain a confirmation letter, airline tickets, hotel tickets, and I totally forgot to say this earlier, a $500 check covering any additional expenses. Wow. 500 bucks. That doesn't go far happening. these days. Well, I suppose it's not these days. That's it a, most definitely is. I suppose it is quite a lot in the 80s, mid-80s. We'll be making sure you both have the time of your life. Man, I was three years old when this game set the dates can't be altered. So if you have plans for the first two weeks of September, this would be a great moment to change them. And I hope this answers all of your questions for now. Congratulations on winning, 
and we look forward to seeing you fly into Florida. Thank you. Bye. Oh, there we go. I, I think I need to sit down for a moment. <laughs> Setting up the events of the uh, the main game. Oh, honk honk. That's Robert. Sorry, honey. I, I can't celebrate with you right now. But I'll make We're going you fishing. Mose. Mm, I will hold you to that. <laughs> Have fun on the ice, hun. And when you start to freeze out there. So in the first evening we've had, Sunday. where we're both in, together, I go out fishing. <laughs> Seems very true to life, this game. Oh, well, that's a nice view, isn't it? Oh, boy. I like Drum that. Hole, get that fire pit going. Ice fishing's a lot of work. And it's cold. But we're fishing all right. Hmm. <laughs> Great stuff, Robert. Thanks for taking me along. No problem, Thomas. Wouldn't have enjoyed it half as much by myself. <laughs> Man. It's nice out here. That it is. The setting could use a guitar. <laughs> Campfires. <laughs> yeah. Guitars guitar. Guitar. Sound nice right now. It'd be a shame to disturb the peace now, though. Hey, what was Emily going on about when I picked you up? You guys are going to Florida? Yeah. Well, apparently, we won a two-week trip. Wow! Congrats. Not that Florida's my cup of tea, if I'm honest. Some place else you'd rather go? Some place else you'd rather go? I'm perfectly fine staying right here. Uh... P.O. is great, but is it also a good place to meet someone? <laughs> I know what you're hitting at. The answer's no, of course. But maybe this is what I need right now. Uh, yeah, just give it a little time. Or a lot. Nothing wrong with He didn't that. get very far with uh, dating Wouldn't it be his ideal daughter. This is right. Drop by my house one day. <laughs> Certainly. And also quite improbable. But you never know. You never know. Let's drink to that. Would be a shame if Emily filled that flask of yours for nothing. Ha! Finally, a sensible remark. Cheers. <laughs> now let's catch up fish and get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah. That's very cool. I do like that little scene there. Very peaceful. Right. Uh, if it isn't a cutscene. Hey, Thomas. Of course it's a cutscene. Uh, as long as it doesn't get me into trouble, Frank. As long as it doesn't get me into trouble, Frank. Listen, I just got a heads up from one of my buddies at HQ. He said Walter Morgan left for P.O. with tires screeching. I I need to lay low for a while. If you see him, you haven't seen me, okay? Wow. Frank, I'm not sure about this. Holy crap! Morgan's on the premises! I'm not here. Good wow. morning, Mr. Weiss. Uh, good morning... Good morning, Mr. Morning. Let's not do that. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. I'm looking for Frank. Could you tell me where he is, please? He's hiding behind the counter. <laughs> Frank? Frank Coleman? I should probably cover for him. I haven't seen him here. And where is he if he's not here? Uh, he's probably out delivering. Could be anywhere. Hmm. I guess I'll have to be patient then. We received a report that a man with a mustache dressed in a light blue shirt was offering illegal fireworks to people in the postal office parking lot. If that man is Frank, and I'm sure it is, then that's strike three for Mr. Coleman. Why well, he's playing baseball? Please tell him I'm looking for him. Dear right Have three. A good day. Okay. Is he gone? Mm. Yes, Frank. <laughs> Holy crap, that was a close call. Thanks so much, Thomas. I guess Frank Coleman's going into hiding for a while. <laughs> Frank, don't you think it's better to just come clean? <laughs> don't worry about it. It'll blow over like always. See you Sunday evening. I guess we'll have to play poker with the curtains closed. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, well that's where we're going to leave it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Pleasure as always. Please do leave a like and a comment. 
if you enjoyed the video and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye!